Happy 12 days of Stitch Miss, friends. My name is Carrie. This is Tiger Lily Designs. Welcome to Stitch Miss Day 7. It's day seven. I've got two businesses. One is yarn. One is needle miners. They are both fantastic. Plus, I've got my ovens. It is buckets of fun. Let's just dive. First featured small business is Wild Poppy Yarns. Wild Poppy Yarns is an indie dyer. Her name is Jamie. She's from Beaverton, Oregon. Let me show you a little bit about what she has to offer. First, let me tell you about Jamie's story. So Jamie is actually not a knitter. She is a crocheter, but her mom has always been a someone who was knitting and she's always watching her do it and she was just inspired. So she but like I said, she loves to crochet and a granny square is her favorite, her all time favorite. So in February of 2022, she decided I'm gonna try my hands at yarn dyeing and fell in love with that process instead, which is fantastic for us, right? So let me take you over to Jamie's website. It is fantastic. Look at these big, bold blocks of color. So it's actually an Etsy powered website. So if you're familiar and you're comfortable with Etsy, just know that Etsy is the backer behind this shop. And let me drill you into her shop. So once you go in here, it's just eye candy galore. You know, I love a good bright color scheme and Jamie gives it to me. She's got four pages of yummy yarn. All of this yarn is ready to go. So it is not dyed to order. These are the ones that are ready to go. So the easiest way to do it is to figure out. So if you're looking for a specific project, let's say maybe you are looking for a super bulky hat. You've got a few time, a little bit of time before Christmas you could probably, oh, I got to spell bulky, right? You could probably whip up a bulky hat, no problem. Look at these. So she does all kinds of bases. She does bulky weight. She does worsted weight, DK weight, all in the yummy colors. Look at this Barbie bright, this fall, this autumn fall color. Oh my goodness. And so when you drill into her color, into her listings, she gives you lots of different views of the same. She backs up, gets closer. You can see the twist. She tells you what ply it is, how many weight it is, how many yards. So this is 109 yards, two ply, superwash merino. Like I said, she uses all different bases. So you just have to either you can shop by color, maybe that's what you want to do, or you can shop by um, weight of yarn based on the specific project you're looking for. If you're like me, you just collect pretty yarn and then you worry about the project later, right? So let's just scroll. So DK is one of my favorite because I can use it for hats. I can use it for sweaters. It's great for all the things. So she, like I said, she has lots of different bases. She has organic cotton DK as well as 100% Superwash Merino DK. This is 100% BFL Merino DK, which is fantastic. This is a wool linen blend. So a little bit of something for everyone. And I'm sure if you reached out to her and you didn't see the combination of what you're looking for, as long as she still had the stock on hand, Jamie would love to help you. So let's go ahead and just scroll. I just want to show you some of her fun. This is her Christmas one. Tis the season. Beautiful red and green. Lots of, this is a four ply worsted weight, 100%. Um, merino wool, 219 yards in each skein. So lovely. Like I said, it's just, I can't look at this emerald freckle, pink magnolia. Look at the speckles on that. I just love a good speckle as well as the swirled berries, the tones on tones. Beautiful, beautiful. So let me take you over and you see the same thing. Give Jamie a follow on Instagram. If you're there, she definitely tries to share what's in the dye pots um, with you guys over there. So I'm sure that she would love them. This is her side business. And 
her daytime. She does work uh, a full-time job in an HR admin department. So this is her side hustle that she uses to help support her family. So let me show you some of the things that she sent us in person. Jamie has some gorgeous yarn. And she has gorgeous yarn to share with us. So she sent me three packages so I could show you guys what some of her things, her squishy yummy yarn in person. So I have opened the top so you didn't have to see me do that. But look how they come. Look, I love a good polka dot bag. Presentation matters to me, right? So I did open the tops. So this is how things come to you. And let's just open it up, shall we? So inside the bag, it's a bag in a bag, okay? Look at this gorgeous, it's like a project bag. Yarn that comes with a project bag? Yes, please. So Jamie has these gorgeous drawstring bags. I don't know if they come with every order, but they certainly came with what she's showing up to us. Oh my goodness, okay. And then inside, wrapped again. You've got great taste. Okay, so I'm so excited to share this with you. Okay, so beautiful, beautiful tissue paper inside oh this is so pretty this is her winter pastel mini collection so let me get the white on the background so that the so this is 106 gram worsted worsted minis worsted slash Aaron weight minis oh my goodness I've never seen worsted minis what a fun fun hat that would be a little like yep mm -hmm. go ahead mom did you get it yay <laughs> i'll have to do a little compilation of all the ones she takes with me um but wouldn't that be a fun little because they're all tonal and they all go so beautifully together but i love the movement in her yarn so this one she calls her winter pastel minis so remember you use the search box sometimes in her website if you just use that search the search bubble at the top and then you can just search it and find it all right package number two another beautiful drawstring bag this one oh this one has i'm thinking it's a sock set but we'll see um this has got a full size and a mini oh it's our beautiful tis the season gorgeous this is her tis the season in a worsted Aaron weight. <gasps> Beautiful. Yeah. Do you need a Christmas hat? And then maybe, maybe then you make a, a one of those pom poms. Okay. So you make a Christmas hat and it's like a Christmas party. And then you put a red pom pom that you make out of yarn. Oh, so cute. So these, this is a cute little Christmas theme set that she sent us. And then last but not least, these are two beautiful full-size skeins. Let's see what we've got. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, yummy. Oh my goodness. This is called cranberry cake. I've lost my I've lost my white. Where did it go? Here, I used the back of her bag. Cranberry Kate DK. Now this is a Tiger Lily hat. Listen, I I wear my hot pink hat that I made um, on our dog walk every single day. So sometimes you need multiple, you know, maybe I need a new pink hat. And then this one, I think she picked these out for me. This one is a beautiful cardinal it's called Cardinal Desire. So, so pretty. Well, oh, wrong side. That doesn't help you. Cardinal Desire. Oh, it's red with pinks and tones and things. Yes. Jamie picked these out for me. Oh, thank you, Jamie. Oh, my gosh. So, so sweet. Oh. So go check out Jamie's shop. There is definitely something for everyone. So I'm super excited. So today's daily giveaway, you're going to, I'm gonna, I'll wrap them up in new tissue. I'm gonna put one of these. This is going to be today's daily giveaway. So it's gonna be the little Christmas party. So you'll get ahead of the game for next year's Christmas knitting. And then into the grand prize goes this one. 
No, it's so squishy and fabulous, isn't it? It is. Okay. So that's going into the grand prize. Second featured small business is Jenny's Gem Minders. Jenny's Gem Minders is a needle minder company who is owned by Jenny. So let's go ahead and let me show you her website. She is on Etsy. I found her there and she's got a gorgeous selection of needle minders. Now, Jenny's story, she has been a lover of all types of needle arts since she was a very young child. Her mother taught her how to do cross stitch and crochet and to needlepoint. And throughout the years, they did these hobbies together. And so that she has precious memories of doing that with her mom. Now she's just an avid needle binder user in her needlepoint projects. And so with that, she decided to start her own business making needle minders because she wanted something unique. And that is what she's got. Oh my goodness. These are some unique needle minders blinged out to the dines. I love it. So let's just take a look at some of them. Like I said, she's on Etsy. She's got 213 needle minders right now. So there is definitely something for everyone. And I could sit here and scroll for hours. But let's just scroll on some of the featured items. So these are ones that she has released, released first. I don't, you know, I'm drawn to this one first. I love this pink hydrangea. So the great thing about her listings, there's usually one, two, three of them. She doesn't get that too many. There's not a lot of them. So they're, they're, you know, when you see something you like, make sure you get it. In each of her listings, she gives you tons of photos as well as look at this video. So that way you can see all sides and see exactly, you know, sometimes with photos, it's hard and to get the dimension and, you know, the height and things. So Jenny recognizes that and gives you photos galore in the listing so you can see and know exactly what you're getting. What I appreciate drastically is that she gives you a measurement. So it's not just like measurements in the description, which is great. She also gives you that. It says it measures one and a quarter by two inches. That is awesome. But she shows you like on a ruler. And so then you can get your ruler and kind of visualize, okay, what exactly is this going to do? And how is this, how big is this going to be? Is it going to work? You know, if you're working on a small project, you don't want a giant needle winder. But if you have a needle point, if you're using a canvas, these are beautiful. She definitely talks about how, you know, needle binders are very helpful if you're loading one, two, three needles at a time, switching colors often. Look at all these. Look at this Christmas angel. She is the sweetest. Oh my goodness. And I love it. Like I said, I love the video. Look at the sparkle. So many gems. So like I said, her business is Jenny's gem minders. She loves the sparkle and I'm here for it. So like I said, there's a little something for everyone. Let me show you the categories just in case you want to come shopping. She's got winter and Christmas galore. Let's just scroll through those real quick just because we're in the season. Oh my goodness. Look at this enamel angel with all those multiply colors. So that's more flat. This is more three-dimensional rhinestones. Bling, bling galore. The funny little Rudolph, Santa, his sleigh, the tree, the penguin. You can find something for any kind of project that you are looking for. Birds, bees, fall. Oh my goodness. Look at this flamingo. I know someone who might need that. Oh my goodness, look at these beautiful hummingbirds. Gorgeous. Oh, another flamingo. Popular. We've got hearts. Valentine's Day is coming up. Food and sweets. Oh, look at the martini glass. How funny is that? I do want to go ahead and bring you over to, to Instagram and show you that Jenny is on Instagram, although she's not an active poster yet. Let's bump her up with followers. Maybe that will encourage her to come and share the new postings, her new listings here on social media so you know when to come shop. So let me bring you back in person and show you some of the gorgeous things that Jenny has shared with us. Doesn't Jenny have some gorgeous needle minders you've never, ever seen? I love them. And I can't wait to show you some of the ones she sent us in person so we can see. So this is how they come, all wrapped lovely in this beautiful Tiffany blue paper and her little sticker and all the things I'm trying. Can I open this without messing it up? Maybe, we'll see. No, I cannot. So just know that it was pretty, but I'm gonna show you, carefully show you what she has sent us. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, there's two. 
There's two in each pocket. All right, let me show you some. Oh my goodness. They're even prettier in person. Okay. I don't really want to take them out of the plastic so that they stay fresh. <gasps> Look at that blue crab. Oh, can you see the sparkle? So, so pretty. Oh my goodness. Look at this Christmas tree. All right. Let me see. Let me see if the... Okay, the bag closes. It's pretty easy. I don't, I want to do her, oh, look, it's like little rainbow bobbles. Little like the sparkle. There's no sun, so the sun is not shining on you. But oh my goodness, look at those. Can you see the sparkle? Oh, that tree is gorgeous. Okay, so I've taken them all out of the package now so you can see them up or close. So she sent us four more needle minders for let me show you one. Look at this beautiful sparkle sunflower. Do you see the sparkle in the net? So it's a beautiful, super strong magnet. They were sticking to each other. Gorgeous. So it's got bee coppery flings on the inside, these gold leaves for the sunflower. Just super, super fun. <gasps> Look at this Russian nesting doll. Okay, so bling, 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 like nobody's business. Pearls more bling and diamonds and all the things and you can kind of see she's like two fingers that's how big she is she's she's so beautiful oh my goodness and there's a dragonfly right in the middle of her I didn't even notice that but that's a dragonfly oh she is the sweetest so I think we saw her she might there might be a couple more of those still oh my goodness this makes me think of that movie oh look at the cute I mean, I don't know where she finds these one-of-a-kind, these, these pins. Oh, my gosh. Pearls on the wheels, bling on the trees, nice and smooth. I mean, these are gorgeous, beautiful, unique gifts to give to a stitchy friend. Or for maybe you need to put a couple. You deserve some extra bling in your stitchy bags. Look at the little kitty cat. That's for all my kitty cat loving friends. Oh, look at the blingy kitty cat body. She is adorable. Oh, all right, friends. So thank you, Jenny and Jamie, for sending all these fantastically gorgeous goodies for us. Now, I've told you already what's in the daily giveaways from Jamie. And what's going into the giveaways for from Ginny is just gonna get you're gonna get two needle minders if you're today's winner, and then I'm putting in two needle minders into the grand prize giveaway. So so much goodness. Thank you, friends. Now, before I forget, I just like to keep you on your toes. Today's word of the day is believe. So remember, the word of the day, you're going to use down below in the comments to get entered into today's giveaways, whether it's the yarn or the minders. Yay. Um, and also, you want to throw the word of the day into your crossword puzzle. We are past the halfway mark, friends. Is your crossword puzzle halfway filled out? No worries. You still got time to go back and binge watch all the episodes. Get caught up. No worries. Let me clear. It's day seven of the events. Are you excited? I'm excited. Okay, day seven. Tiger Lily, this is where we're going to start. It's, it's a... Any guesses? So I am going to tell you about a little bit of story because this one has a story and I love it so much. So let's just review some of the things for the Tiger Lily. There's been a beautiful chart from Hello from Liz Matthews. There's been beautiful Ada from my friend Sue at Legacy Fiber Arts. Beautiful everything's beautiful. There has been beautiful floss, hand dyed by Leanne at Forbidden Fiber Co. Love that girl. And so that, and then there's some needles right later on. And then there's some fun, goody, good things. So in theory, you should be stitching. I mean, you don't have to like do what you want, but you could be, you could be working on your fa la 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 la. I sat there and counted to make it. To, it's all there. It's all there. You can count. Um, your fa la 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 chart from Sweet Liz. Now, are you stitching? If you're stitching, are you stitching the multicolor or monochromatic? Which one? Team. I'm gonna do a little poll on Instagram today. Yes, go vote. Um, so I wasn't gonna leave you high and dry because I I like a good like get her done all the way all the way thing. So I knew 
that chart based on the size it was going to be is too big to be an ornament, right? But and I couldn't, I couldn't custom frame everything for you. Couldn't do it. And I wasn't going to go to Hobby Lobby and buy something. So then I was like, okay, who do I know? Who is a, a sweet friend that I can call and be like, let's work together? Chantel. Chantel from 141. I love that girl. So I was at her 141 retreat in September. Now we had talked in, in July and August and I said, this is what I need. She was busy getting for the rhetoric for the retreat. Understandable. So she's like, listen, I'm going to get it done. It's not going to be a problem, but let's talk about it after said retreat. I said, no problem. So I knew she knew this is what we were doing. I knew she was going to be in the box. She was going to be my girl. So I'm at the retreat. We do the retreat and I gave her the dimensions and I said, this, I just, you know, whatever like speaks to you. I, I want a Chantel finishing product for this stitch. She's got me. Okay. And I was like, great. She's got me. That's good. And I thought I was going to come home and that was going to be the end of the story. That is not the end of the story, friends. That's not the end of that. That's just where the story begins. Now, if you remember, if you watch my floss tubes, you know that I had travel woes on retreat number two. And so Michigan had me hostage for a whole 24 hours, which is great. It worked out perfect. Really, it did. Um, so my flight got canceled. And so I'm sitting there on Sunday afternoon and I'm like, okay, like Chantal, you know, so I helped her break down the retreat and we did all the things. And she's like, Carrie, let's just go to the shop. We're going to, we're going to bang out your, your advent board right now. Are you kidding? Like, we're going to do that right now. So this is exciting. We're sitting at the, I'm in Chantal's like magic wonderland of laser cutting world. And it's right there. And then the computer and I saw all behind the curtains. I am so lucky. I'm so, so lucky that she is my friend and I got to do all the behind the curtains. So I'm sitting there and we do other things and we figure it out. We got the dimensions. Fast forward, hours and hours of prototyping. First we pull, so, you know, we cut out a, this is the size of the stitch. Nobody has stitched anything. Me being the nobody. I hadn't stitched it yet. But I could know the dimensions of here I am going to finish it on the sticky board. This is the board. How big? Anyway, the moral of the story, fast forward. At the end of the night, long, long night, super fun, super fun night playing with lasers and woods and all the things. Lots of prototypes, lots of iterations. But without further ado, we came up with this custom, one of a kind, unique to the Advent Box, custom built by Carrie and Chantel, 141 backer board. So now it is, it's your backer board. I am going to show it to you and show you how it puts together. And if you're following along with your Advent, you're doing all the things, I will have a finish with me video because I'm stitching mine. Are you stitching yours? So we can do it together. But I am just going to show you right here how they go together. So in this bag, bubble wrap bag, thank goodness, are three pieces. In case this is your first time getting a Chantal board, let me show you how you do it. So you get the, we're going to finish them. So don't worry. We're going to finish them either with a um, stain tint that you're going to grab at Hobby Lobby or the Home Depot. If you wanted to do like a min wax, like more walnut-y, dark mahogany, you can get whatever color. This is maple. This is so you can stain it like, you know, wood. Um, we'll talk about that during the finishing video. Did I just want to show you to you? So there's three pieces. So you take this one. And then we're going to do some gluing. Don't worry. Don't be scared. I'm going to show you. Chantel showed you like a thousand times, but I'm going to show you again. And then this slides right into there, gets glued, and it's a little shelf setter. And the la 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 sits right here. And then I'm going to give you like tons of options for what we're going to put in the little, you know, I got, I love a good juji top. You can see I have the joy. This is a juji on the side. There's a little bow that's a juji on the bottom. Well, if I'm making a custom one, I'm going to make a spot for the juji. So this is your backer board for your fa la 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 la. And then one day we're going to finish it. I'm about halfway done stitching. So I can't promise you when it'll happen. Could it happen before Christmas? Maybe. But that is day seven. Yay. I hope you love it. I hope you're excited. If you're a lover of, a super fan of Chantal, then I'm sure you love it. If you're new to Chantal, I'm excited to bring you to the rabbit hole that you will now go down because her finishing products are bonkers awesome. All right, let's move on to the ovens so we don't yucky yucky too long. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Day seven from my sweet friend Sue. Legacy Fiber Arts. Look at that gorgeous color. I thought it would be fun to show you. Look how lovely. I know it's in a plastic bag, but look how lovely all her colors are playing together. 
I've pretty much found in case you're curious. So I do have 24 plus the big one, skeins of this one. So with 12 beds for Christmas, you're only gonna see the 12. But I'm pretty sure this is the DK weight. I think I'm gonna do a marled sweater. I think I'm gonna grab a fingering cream color. I was auditioning, doing a little um, pattern shopping yesterday in my spare time um, to figure out which one I'm gonna do. It's like a creamy fingering one. I'm gonna carry throughout the whole sweater and then I'm gonna switch things up because if you know anything about Carrie, it's that she loves colors and all the things, right? All right, so I just thought you'd get a fun kick. Just look how they play nicely. I don't think they're made to go together. She doesn't send a project card like some events do. Okay, Colorado Cross Stitcher. Let's, let's stay focused. So sweet. MBT Designs. It's a beautiful scissor fobby, zipper pulley, fill in the blank what you want it to do. Gorgeous little bling bling. That's so pretty with the Christmas tree. So, so pretty. And then last but not least is my ginger quilter. Squishy. Could it be fabric? Could it be a fabric? like a it's a project bag it's like a um i think it's more for knitting is what i think but size wise it's a beautiful it reminds me of a it's got a nice gusset bottom on them it says fabric addict very very cute i have no idea where she got it no brand on here to tell you about but there's, there's that. All right, friends. So that's the small businesses, Jamie and Ginny. Give them some love. Show them. Shop, follow, share all the things. And until next time, friends, which is tomorrow. Happy stitching.